Hey guys, welcome back. Patrick here. Today we're going to be going over adding the nav bar to our web page. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stick this in the header. We're going to add the nav bar class. So do nav class equals colon nav bar. Nav bar. And we're not going to use the default class. We're going to do static top. Other class I'm going to add is the navbar inverse. All right, so what does this do? The first thing it's going to do is add the navbar into the scene, into the page, and then it's going to stick it on the top. And it's going to make sure that navbar stays on the top no matter where we scroll on the screen. And then the navbar inverse is actually going to invert the colors on it just because I like a, I like I like things black. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. Div class equals container fluid. All right, we're going to need this for bootstrap to work properly. Class. And here's your header. All right, so what this is going to do now that we're writing up is when the nav bar is collapsed, it's going to give us that little tiny icon you see in the in the upper right hand corner that's so common to all the bootstrap type stuff. Now I'll go over how this is working in a second once I get this written up. Button. All right, so we're creating a button class. We're titling that class. Navbar toggle collapse. All right, so that class right there is going to check for the screen to be of a certain size and then allow the navbar to appear. All right, next we need to add the data target. And this is the target of which the data is going to reference. And this has to be a CSS target. So we'll just do uh, now bar collapse one. All right. Next, we need to add a span class to that. All right. What this is going to do is it's going to create those bars that we're, we're you're so used to seeing. All right. So first, we're going to do this class, which is screen reader only. All right, what does this do? Essentially, it tells your, it tells someone with, with it, it's a 508 compliant thing that essentially tells someone that is using a device that can't view the actual screen that it's to toggle the navigation menu. So that's what that stands for. Whenever you use the class screen reader only, SR only, means that unless you're using a, a screen reader, you're not going to be able to see it. Span class equals icon bar. All right, this is one of those glyphy type cons that we've seen. And the span class means that it goes all the way to the extents of our navbar collapse button, if that makes sense. So it crosses all the way across and gives you that bar action and they always do it three times one two three just make sure you close that up and then we can close that button down all right so that's our collapse button all right we're still in the nav bar header let's go ahead and add some information to that we will do anchor class and this will be our brand. So we need to put in the brand Oop, nav bar brand. And then this is, we can add a link to that. So we can do a href equals and we could just do just keep it so it doesn't go anywhere. We'll call it my icon. All 
All right, and then we'll close up that diff. Okay, looks good. Let's continue on. All right, under our nav bar header, we're gonna need some more stuff in here. First, oh, I'm sorry, under our container fluid. All right, now we need to put in some collapsed information. All right, and so this is what we're gonna be pointing to with this data target right up here. Okay, collapse one. So this is all the information that's gonna be expanded while we have a large screen. So let's just put in the class on it, which is navbar collapse. And that's going to expressly say that it's open at a certain size. And then we'll have to target that. So we'll do navbar collapse and one. Let me just double verify that I got spelled everything correctly. All right, let's add an unordered list to this. All right, this is a list class. And then we need to add the items to it. So let's go ahead and do that now. First one, we're gonna start that off as active. Actually, we don't need it active. We'll just do it regular. So we'll just do list item. So what we could do is add a class that says it's active and that when you come onto the page, it's highlighted, but we don't need to add that right now. Do an anchor text, anchor href equals. And when we add these hashtags, essentially what we're saying is don't go anywhere. Uh, you can also use a JavaScript command to do the same thing. Link one. We'll close that. And we'll just copy paste this a couple times. Okay. I got four links right there. And we could link to any page we wanted to with these. Close up that list. All right. And let's go ahead and close that. All right, so now let's close the next one. And that closes our container. And we need to pop this up one just for style purposes. It's good, it makes things a little bit easier to read when you make sure everything's, like this div is hitting it's not closing anything right now. That one's closing that one. Oh, nav. Got to close the actual nav class. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Hit refresh. All right, that's our links. Now, uh, one of the things you'll notice is that if I went to full screen on that, you'll notice that these are over here. We need to stick that inside another container in order to fix that. OK, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We will stick this whole thing. Bar header. We'll stick that in a container. Refresh. Uh, wrong area. Nope, that's not the container we want to put it in. Let's try it up here. There we go. All right, now you can see. We collapse it. Get that area right there. One thing we're missing is that this is not activating. Let's take a look and see why that is. ID. Oh, we forgot. It. We missed an a pound sign right here. Try it again. Refresh. There you go. Glorious. Look at that. All right, so that's the quick and dirty how you can get the nav bar to work up top of here. It's a pretty simple version. We can make it much more complex if you want. Uh, but for now, I think that works. I think that's pretty clear. Uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.